and I'm thank you. Can you hear me out? Yes. So my name is Marvin. I'm not appearing on the screen. Uh, my name is Marvin Saporin, and I'm a 77 year old retired owner of a small two family home and also a progressive and lifelong New Yorker. And I'm deeply concerned about the impact of extreme economic inequality on poor New Yorkers' lives and on our city and our nation as a whole. But I strongly oppose recommendation three because taxing homes at their full market value will not address economic inequality or racial inequality and is likely to have unintended consequences. Low and middle income homeowners and retirees living on fixed incomes, such as an 84 year old person that was cited in the New York Times article on this issue, would face significantly higher taxes just because the values of their homes have increased. And it's not just uh, wealthier neighborhoods that would be affected. For example, Street Easy reports that between 2012 and 2017, the average price for homes increased by 140% in Hamilton Heights, 125% in Bed-Stuy, and 87% in the Concourse in the Bronx. Brooklyner on February 1st, 2020 reported that in the past decades, the prices of homes in Williamsburg, Green Point, and parts of Bushwick increased by an average of almost $250,000. Because the real estate values have increased much more than incomes for all but the richest New Yorkers, higher property taxes will make it harder for many homeowners to remain in their houses. Increased property taxes coupled with the loss of federal income tax deductions for local taxes will put added pressure on small landlords to raise rents. And since New York City has a higher income and commuted, commuted taxes, I'm expired. Values will further fuel a great exodus to the suburbs. A much better approach would include increases on the assessed value of homes when they are resold and significantly higher taxes on ultra luxury homes that are not the owner's primary residences, not on long time residents who have no more money just because the value of our houses have increased. Many of the people living in homes that are those values have increased much higher, like myself and my neighbors, our retired civil servants, people who have worked for nonprofit organizations, teachers. If you can conclude your remarks, Marvin, appreciate it. I'm concluding by saying think about the unintended consequences and thank you for your work and for listening to my testimony. Listen to Marvin here. Uh, the unintended consequences, yes, that is very true. What are the unintended consequences of this property tax reform? Peace out.